Imagine how it feels being locked away and staring at lifeless grey walls all day, having no contact with the outside world. This is the reality prisoners have to face on a daily basis. The scariest part is inspecting their cells after death. A number of prisoners have carved one final message in their cells before losing their life. So let's take a look at some of these messages in today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have the Russian girl. This message was written by a Russian girl named Bala Barin. Her and her husband were caught and jailed by the secret police of Nazi Germany. The final messages that she left on her cell wall were heartbreaking. This is what she wrote, and I quote, Here was held in custody, Bala Barin who was betrayed by her own Russian compatriots. My husband and I were both put away in one cell. Another three Russian civilians and one prisoner of war were in the same cell. They had pistols. We will be facing the gallows. My only regret is to be separated from the beloved husband and the whole wide world. This message really displays the horrors of that time. An innocent woman and her husband locked away just waiting for their turn to be hung. It really is quite terrifying. In our ninth spot today, we have the Watchful Eye. This next piece of graffiti was found in the abandoned West Virginia Penitentiary. It says, I'm watching you, Freddy O. Now, I don't know who Freddy O is, and I don't really want to know, but I feel bad for them. That is absolutely terrifying. Someone was keeping a watchful eye on him. The eye itself also just looks horrifying, like it's staring right into my soul. Ooh. Moving on to number eight, we have Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez was an American football player in the NFL for three seasons. However, in 2013, he was arrested for the death of his friend, Odin Lloyd. In the end, he was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison without parole. But in 2017, Aaron took his life in jail. Before doing so, he apparently cut his finger and wrote John 3.16 on the wall in his own blood. He also wrote it on his forehead as well. John 3.16 said that God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall never die, but have eternal life. Not only that, but another report said that he drew an unfinished pyramid with the all-seeing eye on the wall as well, which is hella creepy. Like, why did he do that? What is this supposed to mean? I'm creeped out. In our seventh spot today, we have Welcome Home. This next message was captured by photographer Mark Perot. He got a tour of Eastern State Penitentiary, and he was just going there to capture the empty building and the abandoned rooms. But while there, he found a deeper connection to the graffiti on the prison cell walls. So he started to photograph that instead. In one cell, a prisoner left a very creepy, welcoming message. It says, welcome home, convict. Now, we're not sure if the person who wrote the message was freed or ended up dying in jail but we do know that that was one of his final messages. And it was to the person who would be taking over his room. But it's not really a warm welcome in if you ask me. Coming in at number six, we have the hanging tree. This next message left by a prisoner is fairly dark. Basically, the prisoner drew himself being hung from a tree. The words, this is my family tree are written by it with arrows. Clearly this message has a deeper meaning. One can interpret that he meant his family tree, or family bloodline, ends after his death. We can assume he never had kids, so after his death, that's the end of their family name. I guess he has no other siblings or living relatives, which is dark as hell. This prisoner was later found in his room dead. He hung himself with his bed sheet. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the gallows. In 2014, a jail in Windsor was allowing visitors to come in and go on guided tours. This, of course, was after the prison was decommissioned and the inmates were moved to another prison. Now, this prison is eerie for a number of reasons. Number one, the jail had a built-in gallows, which they used up until the death penalty was removed in 1976. But before that, they were hanging prisoners right there in the very prison. To this day, the trap door as well as the bolts where the ropes used to hang are still visible. Not only that, but the cells are filled with scary graffiti. The government has since tried to get this graffiti removed, but this is pretty creepy. This was the last message written by an inmate before he got moved to the new facility. It says, we are moving southwest, so don't hang around the end. Obviously, hang was a play on words. Just knowing the history of that prison makes that message that much more darker. In our fourth spot today, we have the hit list. 
For this one, let's take a trip to Bogo Road Jail in Australia. So this jail had a strict set of rules. Prisoners were not allowed to write on or deface their cell walls. Any graffiti that was spotted was quickly removed. But in 1989, they started to let this slide since the jail was facing closure. This was one of the eerie messages they found in one of the cells. This is the list of prison officers that worked at this jail. It was written as a threat to scare the officers that the inmates didn't like. It was also meant to scare any new officers coming in. Kind of like, you're next. I don't know about you, but if I walked in and saw my name on that list and knew that they were coming after me, I'd walk right back out. Moving on at number three, we have the dead man's gun. This eerie message was left by a prisoner who was on death row. It was hard to find a lot of information on him, but basically he was put on death row after being convicted of killing a man after they found his fingerprints on the murder weapon. But according to the prisoner, he was never able to tell his full side of the story. He never confessed and always maintained that he was innocent. He did witness the murder of his friend and made the mistake of picking up the murder weapon, but he had nothing to do with the actual murder. That's what he was trying to get at with this final message. Moving on at number two, we have the bloodbath. This next creepy message was left in the showers of a now abandoned prison. Clearly, someone didn't like what another prisoner was doing and left this message as a warning. It says, this is what will happen next time. Bloodbath. Isn't that just great? I hope no one ever crossed this prisoner again. I would hate to see the outcome of that. And in the number one spot today, we have the Craigslist killer. Philip Markoff, better known as the Craigslist killer, is responsible for taking the life of Jalissa Brisman on April 14th, 2009. Markoff got his name because he would go on Craigslist and respond to sexual ads, meet up with them before attacking and robbing them. He received immense gratification from doing so, but in the end, he was caught. His final words were directed to his fiancée, Megan, who he had given the nickname Pocket to. On August 15, 2010, Markov took his own life in his cell. As he was bleeding out, he left one final message in blood. He wrote Megan's name along with Pocket on the wall. The words he wrote itself aren't scary, but it's the fact that he wrote this when he was bleeding out and dying. In fact, Markov made sure he wasn't going to come back from this. Officers found toilet paper shoved down his throat so that they couldn't resuscitate him. All right, guys, uh, that was depressing. We ended on a really heavy note, but let me know in the comments below which one of these messages creeped you out the most. And as you comment something down below, I'll be shouting out some comments. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 unbelievable predictions from ancient Indian texts. Shroom Fiend commented, I used to have the Mickey Mouse disco album when I was a kid. Uh, Ah, honestly, this is gonna sound bad, but uh, I don't have a working record player, so I can't even play the records on this wall. So if somebody wants to send me one, you know, just saying. Jerry Grealish commented, we eat roots and leaves now. So many people commented this. I know we eat root vegetables and leaves are the salad, but when I'm saying like in the future, I mean like we're gonna be outside on the ground taking leaves off of trees. It's not going to a supermarket and getting our fruits and vegetables from there. Like no, we're gonna be outside, hands and knees, digging in the dirt, probably eating dirt and stuff like that. You guys are like, pay attention to the video, come on. <laughs> and finally, Cond commented, we have to start stocking up on toilet paper. It's a must. Please, can we not go through that phase again? Can we not? I beg of you, okay? That was extreme and stupid, extremely stupid. Anyways guys, that's all the comments I'll be shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.